hope my idea is in line with Ford Motor Company and we can work together to get something done. Our founder, Henry Ford, once said, a business that makes nothing but money is a poor business. For the last 64 years, we have made it our mission to make sure that this idea is clearly executed through our Ford Motor Company Fund, which remains committed to playing an active role in the community and working with our associates. With education being our number one priority, I believe the organization I am presenting to you today deserves our support as it continues to impact its young community. My name is Diana Ramirez, and for the last 10 years, I have been a part of creating an identity for Ford Motor Company as a communication specialist. And for the last 15 years, I have been a volunteer for Project Blue, an organization that helps students in middle school and high school create an identity for themselves. As you can see, my connection with the organization is clear, creating identities. Today, I want to connect Project Blue to all of you and to Ford Motor Company by answering three big questions. What is Project Loop? Why Project Loop? And what can we do for them? So that you will understand how together we can continue to live by Mr. Ford's idea. Okay. So, as we all might remember, high school is a stressful time. Not only do kids have to worry about day-to-day -day trifles, but during this time, decisions about life after high school are being made college, no college, stay home, travel? These are questions a young girl named, we'll call her Jane Doe for now, asked herself before joining Project Blue. Having parents that never even made it to middle school and having no one readily accessible to ask questions about education after high school can make someone feel unprepared and unsure about what to do. Not knowing can make someone feel as though they can't identify themselves as society. This is how Jane Doe felt, unidentifiable. <clears throat> Project Loop gave her the opportunity to answer these questions. So, oops. so what is Project Loop? Project Loop is a nonprofit based in Taylor, Texas, that consists of a network conceived of benefit of benefit youth through that works. It's conceived to benefit youth through lessons and creativity exercise and hard work and a real world experience outside the classroom. Basically connecting students to business professionals based on their interest in order to educate them about their career options and how to get there. So for example, if students are interested in architecture, um, they are connected with either architecture professors. For example, they, there was an instant where a workshop was held at the University of Texas and there were students inside the Project Blue organization that wanted to know more about architecture. So they sat in the classroom and basically got to have a one-on-one -on -one with the professor. And another example, um, there's a picture of it up here, um, the top right. Student, in 2011, students were split into two teams with a Progress Coffee in order to create their own blend of coffee and work with local graphic designers in order to create their own design for packaging so that they could be sold for fundraisers and for fundraisers that would fund future trips and events. Activities like these allow students to work with experienced individuals in order to get hands-on experience with real world jobs. After this activity, Jane was a part of it, she began to pick up an interest for graphic design. So not only are students connected with professionals, they begin to connect with communities at local events by raising awareness about impactful after-school programs like Project Loop. At these events, they ask for donations and sell their coffee brands they created along with other Loop products to raise funds. Project did a great job of demonstrating that like us, they are committed to playing an active role in their community. For one instance, they, um, they held an event called the Fire Relief Fund. There's a poster for it that the students helped design as well, where they raised $2,000 to benefit the um, fire victims. Okay. Now I'd like to hand you these hands out just so you can see a little bit more about what Project Loop is about and the activities they have been a part of. So, why support Project Loop? 
According to our 2010-2011 CSR report, we donated $7,700,000 to education. And like I said before, uh, our number one priority also, according to Jim Bella, is education. A program that we funded um, was Ford Pause, which stands for Ford Partnership for Advanced Studies and Next Generation Learning, which is a unique program that brings together educators, business, and civic leaders to transform education in existing public high schools by creating classes that are more relevant to students and to better prepare them for college and careers. Does that ring a bell? Project Loop wishes to create the same impact on children by allowing them to explore life after high school by educating them with also hands-on experiences. As you can see, the two are clearly, they're kind of the same program with the different um, results, but in all for education. And then going back to Jane, because her interest in graphic design grew, she was giving a network of graphic designers that could help her develop her skills. So since Jane was a sophomore in high school, she began the program as her sophomore year. By her senior year, she decided that after all the activities that she had been a part of, that graphic design was her interest. So she was giving, given uh, contacts that allowed her to either build a relationship with and hopefully develop the ability to gain an internship after high school. Um, something that she would not have been able to do if she didn't um, explore career options. So what can we do for more of your company? Since Project Loop is all about gaining experience through doing, I am asking that we team up with them and satisfy their needs by taking the time to connect with board employees based on their interest. So for example, those in their senior year, even possibly, um, so the, for those in their senior year, we would give them the time to uh, we would give them the attention in order to potentially give them internships in later years. And for the group itself, providing workshops that demonstrate a, a field within the company. So for example, we have designers here at, um, at Ford Motor Company that are specializing in designing our vehicles. If st somebody is interested in seeing that, we could hold a workshop that would, um, that would allow the students to see the behind the scenes of these. Um, of creating a design for a car. Secondly, I asked for a monetary donation of $3,000 for their next project. Now this one is very exciting to me, and I'm sure it will be for all of us at Ford Motor Company. Their next project is to remodel a one of our own models, a Ford Falcon van, which they have already purchased. This van will transport the kids to and from locations outside of their hometown of Taylor. A third of the funds will go to the paint job that reflects the creativity of the members, and the rest will go to mechanical fixes. By teaming up with Project Loop, we have the opportunity of continuing to play an active role in communities that need it the most. Project Loop's philanthropy coincides with ours in just that, and by donating time and $3,000, we have the opportunity to help our message grow. And as for Jane Doe, after graduating high school, she found the answer she was looking for. She went on to graduate from St. Andrews University in a degree in communication, and two years later, began working with Ford Motor Company. Jane Doe is me. I was a member of the program 20 years ago, and thanks to Project Loop, I was able to find my identity within society. Once again, I thank you, and I would like to take any questions if you have any now.